It was a smashing triumph for the leaders and supporters of the boys in the bush, the guerrillas who broke white Rhodesia's 90-year hold on power. Robert Mugabe, the Marxist revolutionary, won biggest of all. He will be prime minister of independent Zimbabwe. For seven years, his guerrillas fought to destroy white domination. When the votes were counted, he got a whopping mandate for change. The election was violent, but as fair as could be expected. The celebrants, when their boys had begun in the war, they had finished at the polls. But Robert Mugabe today muted his radicalism. To all, he promised reconciliation. There is no intention on our part to use the advantage of the majority we have secured, you see, to uh, um, victimize the minority. After peace, the most pressing issue is land. Blacks crowded onto tribal reserves have been promised unused land to farm. But Mugabe also says he'll continue white commercial farming, the backbone of the old system. Nelson Mandela was in Zimbabwe today, an example, he said, of how blacks and whites can live together, even a model for South Africa. For 10 years now, Zimbabwe has been ruled by a black majority government. Blacks and whites are getting along better than ever before. Black rule has not created black wealth. Even though their incomes are increasing, inflation is rising faster. And as a result, living standards are falling. The white minority still has most of the money. The U.S. has imposed travel sanctions on the Zimbabwe president, Robert Mugabe, and his aides. The White House says they may not come to the United States because Mugabe is not allowing fair and free elections. In Zimbabwe today, the government declared a state of disaster because of food shortages in the country. The World Food Program says it is partly drought, but also because so many white-owned farms were seized by the current government. Southern African countries are under growing pressure to intervene in Zimbabwe's economic and political meltdown. All around him today, Robert Mugabe denied his country's cholera crisis. So now that there is no cholera, there is no cause for war. Some proposing military action by African nations to force Mugabe out. The inauguration, like the election, was more performance than substance. I, Robert Gabriel Mugabe, do swear that... The hand-picked crowd had received their invitations before Robert Mugabe was declared the winner. Officially, Mugabe won 85% of the vote, though only after his lone opponent was forced out of the race, and many opposition supporters were beaten and killed.